Hey guys, this video is going to cover how I go about using Finviz specifically for stocks and I'll also share some of the specific searches that I use, scans if you will, for stocks on the market. Now, one of the things I love the most about Finviz is how simple it really is in terms of using it and the fact that it's free which is fantastic. You can pay uh, a subscription to have additional abilities to like export data and save watch lists and those kinds of things, which I would really consider. I just personally haven't needed that. But on this main page, one of the biggest things that always stands out to me is you can look at top gainers and top losers. So it kind of identifies a lot on the market of things that are oversold, what's seeing the most volatility, especially for things like the Reddit trade. With Wall Street bets and all of that, this can be a good place to get information on the stock and kind of figure out, hey, do I want to jump on that momentum? Does it have FOMO that, you know, I need to get involved? Or you can, you know, you can look at both fundamental and technical pictures at the same time. Now getting into the screener itself. So we're going to go to screener. And me personally, I put it to all to give me all technical as well as fundamental data. Now I will say one thing that I do differently in thinkorswim is I switch the RSI period to 10 instead of 14. In here I can't. I believe if you pay for it you can adjust some things like that. So that's a that's a minor difference where you might get some different results because based on that period it's going to look differently. Some of the things that I usually look for is I'll I'll look for something that's got a positive dividend yield and recently has been oversold, for example. And you'll notice it's auto filtering. Now, as with any scans that I go through, me personally, I'm looking for just three to five names normally. Occasionally, I will get all the way up to 10. So if I'm seeing results for, you know, 88 tickers, I'm not going to be able to necessarily go through all of those. So I usually want to continue adding filters on my scan till I get it down low. Going through 20 stocks is a lot easier than going through 88. You can scroll over and it'll give you a picture of the chart too. So you'll notice a lot of these are in sustained downtrends. So that's something to take a look at. What happened? Did they get a bunch of terrible news? Did they have, you know, if they're a drug company, did they have an FDA? A approval failure what what kind of things happening you can see country now if you flip to the technical tab here it'll actually show you not only beta things like RSI how high is it off the 52 week low so for instance something that's way close to it that could be a good opportunity or it could be really bad so for me I look for oversold stocks that way now another thing that I look for is sorting by market cap you know, so I can sort this Johnson and Johnson, Eli Lilly. So it's, you know, drug companies at the very top of this are getting hit really hard. If I remember correctly, this has to do with the Biden administration talking about um, some pricing control and things for drug manufacturers. Again, you can go in and actually confirm it. So if I select Merck, you can go in and actually see, here it is, Biden meets with CEO, business leaders on vaccine mandates. So these kinds of things are visible here. Plus you can even see downgrades, upgrades. I don't pay too much attention to that. But long story short, that's how you go through and scan. Now, if I go back to the scanner, I can go ahead and just reset all of my filters. And then if I'm looking for something that's had crazy volatility, so let's say over the last week, it's been 18% on volatility, and I'm looking for something with a really high beta, let's say over two. Okay, here I have some super volatile stocks, looks like this one dropped off cliff any this is one i've traded before i don't love that stock i hate it actually it's one of the few that i never seem to get right life i made money on a few years back adxs i've actually traded quite a few times it was a while back as well that one gets some big spikes and then you got io so Depending on what you're looking for, again, whether it be on a fundamental basis and you're looking for price to book or something like that. Now, keep in mind, you can also scroll over these to get a definition. And so this is one of the things where, at least for me, I actually prefer to do my screening later on in the evening before I plan to trade 
the next day. I do it through Finviz because again, they just give me more information, more information packed together. Whereas Thinkorswim, it's kind of you have the scanner, then you could look up the stock, then you could go in and look at the news. Whereas with Finviz, it's all right here. If you go into the stock, you have not only fundamental and technical data, but you also have news and then it pulls in stock twits feed. So if you do have any particular traders you respect and, and kind of follow on stock twits, it's a great resource to kind of pull everything in as well as it gives you insider trading information, some of that kind of stuff. So this is why I highly recommend Finviz over Thinkorswim in that regard. I actually don't use Thinkorswim scanning nearly as much, but from time to time, depending on what I'm trying to do, I do prefer that for certain things, but long story short, do what works for you. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out my video on, on Thinkorswim's scanning. And uh, like I said, I use both. I think it's worth bringing them both up, but let me know down in the comments, what do you use and why? And do you have any interesting scans? So now as a bonus, if you're still watching, I have a special scan that I'm going to give to you that I think is really awesome. I personally have used this quite a few times. I'm not saying this is like always going to work out, but I've, I've actually had really good luck with it. So what I do is I look for oversold stocks. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to up the relative volume to over two. Relative volume, I'll let Finviz explain it. It's ratio between current volume and the three month average intraday adjusted. So it's getting above uh, relative volume, an increase in volume. Then I want to look at the performance over today or this week. So if today I'm getting a plus five, there's only one. Okay, ProShares, UltraShort, Bloomberg, Natural Gas. Occasionally, I will find three or four stocks that are extremely oversold that are suddenly up and seeing above average volume. Now, again, you could you could actually look at current volume as well. You can tweak this however you want. This is actually a scan that I have used a number of times to catch some bottoming stocks. So check it out. See if there's anything of, of note there. I, again, I'm not giving you a recommendation that everything that's in this scan is worth trading. Take it with a grain of salt, but throw them on a watch list because for me in the past, it has worked out. And thanks for watching the video. If you find anything helpful, please feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for stopping by.